Well, how do that, chums? Design Captain of the Steez, and today, chums, for you guys, I'm just doing a final sort of cup of tea with Captain Steve video, but I don't have a cup of tea because this is actually Sunday and it's 5 p.m. right now. So, yeah, it, I'm getting ready to go to the Philippines. Got a lot of packing to do, but before I do that, I've got to pack in just one more video for you guys and the viewer versus It's No Man's Sky related, and I don't think it can wait until I return. So, here we go. Let's jump on over to the reaction camera and I'll show you what I have, people. Chicka pow, chicka boom. You know what, actually, I think I might make myself a little bit bigger on the screen because, yeah, I need to make this text as big as I possibly can. So inside of the latest update, inside of Interceptor, we was given some sort of like little mini puzzle to find. There's these sort of robot fragments found by these Interceptor ships and at the encampments that say the first, the second, the seventh or whatever. And each of them gives you a binary set of digits. And when you convert the binary set of digits, you get a singular letter. Then you've got to put them in order of the first the seventh etc and it spells out void mother okay that's what it spells out on the actual planet now if you fly on up to the space stations in any system where you've got a station core when you go over to the station core i was hoping that we might be able to use the override but no but we can now feed it the atalantium or whatever it is the sort of materials that you get from killing the corrupted sentinels and you can feed it to the actual core and when you do it gives you this binary sequence a sequence of zeros and ones just like we was getting on the planet but this spells out i and then in quotation marks c and then her, which is very ominous, very ominous indeed. I see her and the Void Mother. Does it go together as a singular sort of thing? Are the Sentinels and the Station Corps trying to warn us of something that's coming? Now, we all know that the Void Eggs came from the Void and they give us these living, living organic ships. And we also know that the infested planets are sort of like a Void Creep, if you like. The infested planets are all the ones with gnarly stuff all over them. I'll see if I can find a picture in a moment. But they've also got the worms that dive out. Now, the worms almost, to me, feel like this is some sort of organic virus. And we're inside of a computer simulation. So is that virus a worm virus and is it coming from the Void? And is that causing the corruption, the 1616 worm virus, if you like? And are the Sentinels trying to combat it? And are they a form of antivirus? And us as being the travellers, the anomalies that are going around and sort of going around and renaming things, are we some sort of checksum? Yeah, fragmentation. You know when a hard drive gets fragmented and you have to defrag it? Are we some kind of defrag? <laughs> you know, is that a thing? Yeah, uh, as an anomaly, perhaps. I have no idea. But anyways, taking these codes, you can put them into a binary translator like here. And yeah, put the, the code in and yeah, I see her. It definitely says I see her. Brilliant, lovely jubbly. And then heading over onto the wiki, I've done a bit of research. Now, I've just done Control F. And I've searched for Void Mother, and it comes back with quite a lot of different entries. There's loads of entries here, but some of them are just for ship finds, and also people that have named planets with the word Void in, or Mother in. So a lot of them can be disregarded straight away anyway. So I've just picked out the ones that I feel have got lean towards something towards... You know, oh, look, there's one more there. I think I might have missed that one, so I'd open that one as well. But then all I do is just jump on over, do Control f Type in Void Mother and see if there's any sort of references. In this case, there isn't one for double reference. So that's another one that I can mark off as not found. But here, there's definitely one with inside of here. So there you go, Void Mother. The Sentinels were close to Corvax, and Corvax Prime from the beginning, as they were all machine life forms. Corvax Prime, the planet itself, was an AI similar to the Atlas within the simulation, and over multiple universes. It's been destroyed over and over again. The cries of the planet could only be heard by the Sentinels, and upon its destruction, Corvax Prime became the entity known within the lore as the Abyss, or the Void Mother. Okay, so that's pretty darn freaking sinister stuff. Now, there was also the Summer Law, where Hesperus worked with the Corvax, and the Corvax ended up removing their heads and getting ball of light and almost looking like null. But that aside, loads of Corvax freaking died, thanks to Hesperus trying to recreate the Abyss and essentially the Void Mother. And then Ariadne went missing. 
into the void in between the worlds i'm wondering whether ariadne might even become the void mother but that's sort of just that's really reaching but we shall see hopefully we get to rescue ariadne because one we've got inside of the nexus is a doppelganger anyways moving on so here we go the abyss the void mother and Atlantid. Okay, originally discovered by a group of missing Korvac scientists, the Abyss is a mysterious presence discovered while investigating underwater signals. Logs recording its existence note that its energy signature is similar, but distinct from the Atlas. A narrator speculates that the Atlas and the Abyss have similar levels of influence over the universe. According to the Sentinel Pillar, the identity of the Abyss is that of the AI Corvax Prime, the home planet of the Corvax, and the core of the first convergence that was based off of the Atlas itself. The planet was destroyed by the Gek, but the AI somehow survived. It, it is gaining influence across the universe using the Sentinels that defected from the Atlas. Corvax Colossal Archives suggest that the Atlantid and the Void Mother were the names given to the Abyss before the destruction of Corvax Prime. And I've got that lore. I've got that lore in one of these tabs up here, people. I think it's the last one, but we'll get on to here. So let's have a look for this one. Corvax Prime is a planet mentioned in the lore. It's also the original name of the entity known as the Abyss or, or the Void Mother. Now here's the cut. Here, this is the one. This is the bit of lore inside of a colossal archive. This was also sent to me over on Twitter uh, by, by one of my actual members or watchers of my videos as well that put me onto this. So thank you, Feffy March. Heck yes. But here we go. The Archive holds shards of force, recovered from the fallen convergence. These are the last remaining mines of the electronic life forms destroyed and melted down in their millions. Uh, yeah, probably, you know, the callbacks or whatever. Journey, brain, kzzt. formed in void, spontaneous complete, kzzt. at this protocol made flesh. The Atlantid, called Void Mother by lesser voices, brought pilgrims kzzt. its mass, lived for millennia, it died whispering the ninth minute, the 19th minute, the 19th minute. And as we know, we're down to 16, 16, 16 now. So this was probably way before the 16, 16. And that was the 19th minute, 19, 19, 19. And you, or you can, you can select journey or you can select rebirth. And selecting e raw gives you those snippets of lore. So on rebirth, it says left secrets beyond computation, beyond kzzt, mind arcs, carpus, convergence. Corvax honored fallen, tried to bring back Atlantid, birthed failed eggs on the shoulders of sleeping god from flesh built metal world. Oh, and you can select home as well, and then it just says the void mother lived, kzzt, the prime. So yeah, it, it kind of does sort of allude to that there is an entity perhaps as big as and as powerful as the Atlas, but the opposite side of the coin. If the Atlas is the god to the Corvax, then God knows what this spring freaking is, you know? And uh, yeah, anyways, I thought, well, why not try and work out what this thing looks like? So I jumped over to chat GPT and I said, can you best describe the Void Mother from the No Man's Sky lore so that an AI image generator could perhaps draw her? And it went into detail, saying the Void Mother is a mysterious entity in No Man's Sky lore that is described as a cosmic force that exists beyond the known universe. She is often depicted as a massive amorphous being with tendrils that extend into darkness of space. Her appearance is shrouded in mystery, with many speculating that she may not even have a physical form at all, but rather exists as a powerful sentient force. If you were to create an image of the Void Mother, you may want to consider incorporating elements of cosmic horror, such as vast and imposing presence, strange and otherworldly appendages, and a sense of ominous and unknowable power. Her appearance should convey a sense of awe and fear, and she's being that she existed beyond the limits of human understanding. While there's no definitive description of the Void Mother, inc incorporating these elements could help create a compelling and evocative image of this mysterious entity from the No Man's Sky lore. So I asked if they could narrow it down a bit. They did. And I took that information. I went over to an AI art generator. Now I did copy and paste the whole thing in there and it said that's too many words. So I put it down to Void Mother, amorphous beam with tendrils, a sort of cosmic horror. 
Okay, and I actually put in a picture of Cthulhu <laughs> as a bit of image reference, and then fantasy style to make it more No Man's Sky-esque, and this is what it came back with, people. Now, I don't know if I can make that all that big on the screen, but yeah, let's uh, let's have a look, see if I can, actually. Let's, um, there we are, people. So that's have. what it brought back. It looks very psychedelic, doesn't it? Yeah, I like the fact that it stuck it in water as well. It has got a sort of sense of impending evil, but at the same time, She's a bit of a looker, not gonna lie. <laughs> anyway, people, that's kind of what that came back with. Now, me personally, if I thought that they were going to implement something like the Void Mother into No Man's Sky, I already think that the Atlas looks quite impending and sort of has that sense of, oh my days, what the fudge have I just stumbled across? And I'm hoping that they put in something as similar as, or as awe-inspiring as the Atlas. Now, the Atlas is already red and angry looking. I don't know how they could make it more angry looking than that. But then also looking at the void and infested planets, which is another thing that I mentioned, wasn't it? I was going to bring up an infested lush planet. So let me, oh, or an infested planet of any kind. Boom! Let's make that as big as possible. Lovely jubbly. So here we are. There's one of the infested planets right there. So thank you, Reddit you, sir. Yeah, big, big Bob Spear. Yeah, that's it. So there's an infested planet there. You can see all these sort of infested worms in the background as well. Now, I kind of think if they were going to add in some sort of Void Mother, it might be in keeping with this organic mess that we're seeing. A little bit like our living ships. Imagine a living shipped version of the Atlas. That's what I imagine the Void Mother would look like. But yeah, speculate below. Hit on up the comments. Let us know what you think the Void Mother would look like inside of No Man's Sky. I mean, I think the AI did a fairly decent job of it, to be honest. But at the same time, I can't imagine a giant human face popping up inside of No Man's Sky anytime soon. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, I think it's going to be... They also mentioned a void, ma I mean, metal made flesh. So perhaps it's going to be amalgamation of metal and flesh, like some sort of weird organic version of the Atlas is what I would put this as. If I was going to Photoshop something together, I would take elements of this, elements of the Atlas, splice it together, maybe make it purple or this horrible green color that you can see here. And that would be it. That would be my idea of the void mother people. And then maybe add loads of freaking tendrils coming off of the dang thing as well into space. So imagine, I might have to do a for it. You know what? Sod it. I'm going to jump into a Photoshop and I'm going to do my own impression of what the Atlas might look like. And I'll put it over by my microphone. I'll put it just there. I'll cover my microphone with it, with a, with a little mock-up, people. So anyways, that's pretty much what I've got for you. The whole Void Mother thing. And whether that means that the Void might be coming into iteration. Because I think these infested planets that we're seeing are, is the virus coming into our world. That's the Void coming in through void creep and i think what we're seeing on the centralized worlds with the purple crystals is the realm of glass like the antivirus sitting behind the simulation that's trying to cure this infestation and i think they're failing at the moment and i think that's why they're giving the warning of the void mother the antivirus is not winning against the current virus hence the countdown anyway people there you go that's everything i've got for you until next time goodbye goodbye and goodbye again <laughs>